Hi, I'm Laura the Library Lady and welcome to today's episode. Today, I hope you've enjoyed Cinco de Mayo. And today is also special because it's my birthday. I've had a wonderful day and I would like to thank everyone who texted me, called me, and liked me on my Facebook page. Thank you. So, we're going to dive right into today's book. Today's book is titled Super Springtime Crafts and is brought to us by Loyal House Juvenile Publishers. And our objective today is what can we do to make something special for mom using crafts? This book has all kinds of great ideas. And parents, you can use this kind of book with your children to help them with their functional learning skills functional reading skills. Functional reading is the ability to read and follow directions carefully. Well, I have my very own craft today. I didn't use anything from the book, but I have this book and I love it. But I am all about upcycling. This may look like a mess to you, but this is actually my craft table. And today I'm going to show you boys and girls how you can make a Mother's Day jar. So this was a jar of salsa, and I've made it into what I call the love jar. Let your mom know how much you love her. So I have this here. You see the top of it. And inside, I have all kind of love notes. Let's, I'm going to pull out one or two. This one says, you are so special. So that's one. And I'll pull out one more, and then I'll show you how I made it smile so these are nice little love notes that you can write to your mom that she can look at when she needs a break or encouragement or just to remind her how much you love her and so and this is it so i'm going to show you how to make that so this is a relish jar first thing you do is when you're finished using a jar um you clean it out and you take the label off of it so boys and girls you may need your parents help so that's the first thing you need you need to keep the top other items that you need is a tape measure a ruler a pencil this is a mechanical pencil it has my name on it it's my birthday pretty paper of your choice this paper is double-sided and scissors and of course an adhesive and scrap paper for inside optional items are additional stickers these are fun special vellum paper something to round the corners of your scratch paper ribbon and ink those are optional so let's get started the first thing I'm going to do is I have to know how much paper I need to cut for my bottle so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the height and since this is a totally round edge I'm going to just measure from right here so when I measure this boys and girls it's two inches all right so now I'm going to measure the circumference, which is a circle. And it measures 10 inches. But because this is round and not flat, I'm actually going to cut 11 inches to make sure it's long enough. Okay? So I'm going to take my pretty paper. Since this is only 2 inches, I'm going to take this ruler and I'm going to measure one inch. I'll measure one inch on one side. Make a little lot, a little mark with my pen or pencil. Make one on this side. Because I cannot cut a straight line, boys and girls. I'm going to take this and I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to connect those two marks. And I've got my straight line. 
and then I'm going to cut it with my scissors. Oh, and I also have a Sharpie. That's another uh, Sharpie or a pen is another supply item. You will need to write your love notes to your mom. Okay. And if you have a paper cutter or something like that, you can use that as well. So then I'm going to make another cut, but I'm going to only make this one a half an inch. And you may want to use centimeters, but I still use inches and half inches. So I'm going to make a mark here on this side. We'll make a mark here on this side. Okay, there we go. I'm going to connect the two lines. I'm going to draw them. And I'm going to cut once again. So I've made two cuts, and now I'm going to cut from my specialty adhesive paper. So I'm cutting this. And once again, boys and girls, be careful when you're using scissors and never run with them because you don't want to hurt anyone. All right, so I've got two pieces of paper, and then I'm going to cut from this specialty paper. And this paper, I've already cut some, so I don't know if I have 10 inches on either side. Oh, I have exactly 10 inches on this side. So I'm going to turn it over to the back, and I'm do, going to do a half inch on each side. Because I cannot draw a straight line. Unfortunately. Draw it on this side. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. Your mom's going to love you no matter what. Just do your best. Because even though I measure... Sometimes I still don't get it right, but it doesn't stop me from crafting. I draw my line again. What's the next step, boys and girls? That's right, I cut it. So I'm cutting it again. So now it's time to put the paper on the bottle. And I use a very strong adhesive, because if I don't, it won't stick. So ask your mom and dad about what adhesives you have. You don't have to have the same kind I have. So I'm going to take this first piece of paper, and I said it was 10 inches, and so I'm gonna make it 11. I need an extra inch. So it is very important to measure. And one of my favorite books is actually titled Inch by Inch by an author named Leo Leone. That's right, that's his real name. <laughs> and I've cut that. And so since I already know how long this is, I'm going to cut this one. And the specialty paper I don't need to cut. So I have my adhesive, which is double-sided tape, which is very strong. And I'm going to take this double-sided tape so that I find the end of it. Put it right like this. Use my scissors to cut. Take off the edge, and I'm going to put it around the bottom of my bottle. All right. Just take your time doing this. Sometimes if you put it on a little cricket, 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 it's okay. Then I'm going to take my specialty paper and put it on next, and it already has an adhesive back, so I'm going to just pull the adhesive off of it. Oh, if I can find it. Sometimes it's kind of hard. There it is. Look how pretty that is. And I'm going to put it on just like I put on the other one. Oops, don't let it roll away, boys and girls. Ah! Put it on just like this. And you're going to roll it all the way around. Oops. You can kind of reposition it. All right, it's just long enough. And we're going to put this on, but we're going to use the reverse side. So I'm going to put on the adhesive, but I didn't measure quite correctly, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to cut out another piece of paper really quickly. See how you make mistakes? I'm the library lady and I'm making mistakes. I'm going to do an inch here. An inch over here really quickly and I'm going to draw this ah! 
And what's the next step, boys and girls? You got it. I'm going to cut it. And once I cut it, what's my next step? I keep, I have a pattern. If you said to put an adhesive on it, you were right. So I'm going to put adhesive on this side because I want my paper to be mismatched. I don't want it all one color. So I get my adhesive and I put it on here like this. And I cut it. All right. So I'm going to put this on next. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to put it close so there's no spaces or as close as possible. Because you're going to fill it with love notes. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right. And I've closed this one up. And then I'm going to put the last strip on. And when you add your stickers, it covers up any mistakes. Okay. Oops, I forgot to cut this one. That's okay. So I've got it all covered up now. Yay! So my second step is to add my stickers. And since this is all about love, these are I got these at the Dollar Tree. They're very inexpensive and very fun to use. And I'm going to just stick hearts. See how I'm sticking hearts on here? And I'm going to stick the hearts where the seams are uh, so they won't stick out so much. And I'm using different color hearts. I have red, pink, and white that go with my colors of my paper. I'm just going to stick them on here and I have different sizes. So see how pretty that looks? You put on a white one and you're making your love jar. Yes, you are. Put one right here. And then I have another one. And you see how I'm building and everything looks prettier in clusters. So I'm clustering my heart. Can I leave I need a little tiny one. I don't know if you can see me. I'll show you this. I'm sorry about this, boys and girls. Okay, and I'll put a little one right 